This voice over the nations, where a perfect God is at work, doing perfect things, perfect ways, with perfect results in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah and shalom. Praise the Lord. Well, I have good news for you, as always. And I pray that you have uh, kept up with me. I can see that uh, by your responses that you are doing pretty well in that department. The Lord bless you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm coming and, um, hallelujah, preaching to you today in the anointing by the Holy Spirit against the backdrop of an awesome season. Right now I'm talking to you on the almost the eve of the Passover. Now not everybody keeps the Passover, but you can't keep an Easter unless you keep a Passover. Well, then if you're not keeping the Passover, the Passover is going to keep you until you understand what it is. Because today, we're going to talk about the ransom being purchased and redeemed. And yes, according to your belief, you believe in the power of an Easter. Well, according to your belief. But let me tell you that your, hallelujah, the Passover, the ransom came first. Amen. And so I'm here to talk today about this awesome word that the Lord has given concerning being ransom. I, it, it's, it's a very, very heavy message. I almost didn't get to preach it for the glory, the kavod that uh, came down where I was. And so I, I, I pressed in having heard persevere well what can i tell you in the name of jesus christ today we are looking at the burden and the power of a ransom some awesome things are going to happen around you when you get a hold of truly what it means not to bear the consequences of your own sin as under an old covenant. Uh, this is it, uh, an old covenant uh, where you were responsible for your sin, bore your own sin. And Christ was not yet here to bear the burden of it for you. And so if you stoned, you were stoned. You killed, you were killed. And no one gave a ransom for you because it could not have been accepted because you must die for your sin. Well, a major shift, hallelujah, has taken place. And um, we look forward to bringing these messages during this awesome time of the spring feast of the Lord. They are not the Jews' feast or the feast of the Jews. They are not that. They are God's appointed times. And each one of them you'll find uh, Christ Jesus in them. But that's for another time. So, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, while I was preparing this word, I began to feel the power of a healing anointing taking place in my spirit. And I knew that Christ Jesus had healed your condition, healed my condition, ransom, purchased and redeemed us. I know that that is the most profound healing act ever planned and perpetrated on the planet. Somebody say hallelujah. I knew it. And so I was led 
I was led to begin this 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 series, this this episode. Wherever you are during these next three or four sessions, when this message is heard in your ears, we would have just completed the Passover. We will be into the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which lasts seven days. The images of unblemished sinless life uh, showing forth in unleavened bread and then we come to the miracle of first things or first fruits and that will be uh, continuing through the second episode but praise be to God let me reiterate let me tell you again the greatest healing act of any century was that when Christ bore all our iniquities, all our transgressions, infirmities, sin, degradations to the cross and purchased our redemption. Do you hear me today? In the name of Jesus Christ, Messiah. And so then, I pray like this for you. If this is not your usual covering prayer, you're going to get that too. Because, uh, the Lord has given me a word for you. And so, let me say where you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever condition you're in, because you have been already ransomed and purchased and redeemed, let us pray into that as if we know it to be true. And this is how I pray then. Healing power of Christ Jesus. The healing power of Christ Jesus is working through a situation right now. It doesn't matter where you are because this is already completed. This is already done and available. I'm praying into it now and I expect results. Healing power of Christ Jesus is working through a situation right now. There is a permission and a healing anointing here folks right now. Whatever is attacking you causing you pain and illness, mental torment, disabilities and oppressions and depressions. You are called, listen to me, you are called to solve a problem in the area of your affliction. You are called to serve or solve the problem that is <laughs> plaguing you and in that you will overcome it Jesus Christ was able to say I have overcome the world because uh, he was the world's greatest problem solver he praised the Lord and so now <laughs> let this message flow into your hearts and into your eyes and into your lungs right now, I pray the healing breath, the Ruah. I pray the healing anointing of Christ Jesus to cancel every infirmity, infirmity of the brain, the mind, infirmity of the eyes, the throat, the lungs, infirmity of the heart. You call them heart attacks, you call them lung disease, uh, pneumonia. No, they are infirmities. And so, by the power of Christ Jesus and his ransoming power, his purchasing power, and his redemptive power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I say to you, be healed of that infirmity. The name of Jesus. When you have heard this message, Your Easter date that you have set on your calendar would have passed. But there is no time that the power of your 
ransom. There is no time that there is the power of being the purchase is not on. Every day in every life and every second across the globe. So do not put a mark on your calendar and say Passover is gone, Easter is gone. It is never gone as long as there is one soul left on the planet to be ransomed, purchased, and redeemed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now lose that kind of stuff. It is not true. Otherwise, you perhaps would never have been ransomed either. And so then, it's happening. Oh, kashara. This is not uh, the covenant of stone, folks. Uh, Jesus Christ set in motion everything in the old covenant. Uh, and because uh, he's the uh, firstborn from the dead, uh, the first resurrected, uh, listen to me, it is constantly moving. It's never static. It's never done. We praise the name of the Lord today. What Christ Jesus did for you after setting the law in motion by spiritual power and by the intent of his coming. He removed from the old covenant the curses modifying it in himself through grace and mercy. That's the difference. But it's set in motion. Blessed Pesach to you. Blessed Easter to you. And if in the next century, it doesn't matter when you hear this message and you're not ransomed, purchased, or redeemed, it is on in that hour. Hey, don't, don't, don't lose yourself. This is a this is a, a such a dynamic thing, but but when you get a hold of what it means to be ransomed, you may not hear the end of the message. It is so profound. You will hide yourself and say, "I didn't know, Apostle." This, this, this is what happened. But let me pray for you. Oh. Today then, minister, today. Today I pray for every teacher and preacher of the word of God. Yes, I pray for my peers. I pray that they become more powerful, more excellent, more accurate. Every preacher and teacher of the word who has received a revelation of the truth of your word today, I pray. I pray strength, perseverance, and continuing revelation in the light of God's word. That we may all give out freely of that which we have received. So that grace may be poured out today in your lives and in mine. So that mercy be poured out in your life today and joy poured out. We know that in days to come, the world will suffer greatly from a lack of the power and the knowledge of all that is stored up in the word of God. According to Amos, there will be a fierce hunger for the word of God. Today, Father, by your Holy Spirit, I release and impart the power of the Holy Spirit into the ears and the hearts of those watching this media today. Let there be a quick and a supernatural work accomplished by your spirit that has the power to transform this word into a new enlightening that makes room for every other word of God as revealed by your spirit. Something must go before and open the way. We now give thanks that this is accomplished here and now. So be it. And now, Father, Hallelujah. So then I, I want you to hear these messages. These four messages are five. I want you to hear them with your heart. And when you hear and come into a knowledge of the wisdom and the power of Christ and you understand ransom, you say, oh my God. 
Is it? Was it like that? Is it like that? Yes. Some will be moved to repentance. Some will be moved to another level of thanksgiving. Some to tears because for the first time you have the revelation of what a ransom is. Sometimes we hear the words. We don't understand the meaning. So these messages are perfectly timed then. Perfectly timed. And in keeping with the backdrop of God's appointed times. So, as I was sent to you with these messages, it is so that the power of Christ, this reason I've come today, that the power of Christ, the Spirit, and the power of God's ransom and redeeming power will bring salvation to many and renewing the hearts of many those who have gone cold or crisis of faith falling away that the, when you realize that whether you fall away or not you are ransomed then the Lord God Mm. bring to some of us that are been in the believing faith for a long time even bring a greater conviction and a dimension and a passion for the glorious miracle that we call salvation and not everyone who has received Christ into their hearts even understand what has happened personal conversions some do not even know. Yes, I'm saved, but what is that? But now, wherever you are, these messages will bring alive a new passion for God, Christ, and for the gospel. You'll taste them again for the first time, and today, I know I'll be talking to some that were born into slavery. I know that. Some birth in refugee camps some castaways, runaways, and some drowning in depression and despair. But I'm about to reveal the power of a ransom. Praise God. Jesus Christ, our full redemption, was born under the law. Jesus, the appointed one, was sent to redeem. And he is, hey, hey, this this Savior, born under the law, carrying the seeds of redemption in his core. Paul says he was born under the law so that he would overcome that. And so then, at the core and the center of the ransom, the purchase and the redemption in Christ Jesus is a sacrificial system. The sacrificial system which ended with this one perfect sacrifice. Jesus Christ at the time of his ministry 33 years Jesus Christ would have seen 33 Passovers, whether he was baby or not. He would have seen 33 first fruits. You get what I mean. 33 feasts of tabernacles. At the core of his being was the law. But he came, paid a ransom. All that you could not do all that you could not dare to conceive of ever doing. Christ Jesus, <laughs> being fully acquainted with the legal sacrificial system in it, carried it to the cross. That's why we know he was sacrificed. He wasn't killed. I know talking about it. He wasn't just killed, not just crucified. Get 
it's straight. <laughs> because of the sacrificial system, birthed in blood, carried out in blood, Jesus Christ became that perfect sacrifice. Doesn't fit if you say he died. No fit if you say he was killed. No, he was sacrificed in order to be consistent with the sacrificial system under which he was born. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, today the ransom preceded the sacrifice. Yes, you must have been ransomed. There was an agreement made between Jesus Christ and the Father that he would cancel the debts, take the bets off the table, move away those things that were against you to be nailed to the cross. So the ransom agreement came before the purchase. Oh, hey, there had to be an agreement made, so. <laughs> yes. I have some definitions for you as to what a ransom really is. A sum of money or a payment demanded, not asked for, demanded or paid for the release of a prisoner. Anybody hearing me? A payoff, a payment, and a price. When you think of the Bible, you think of a ransom, it's to deliver from a situation, reclaim from a condition, redeem, rescue, and to save. For some, for some of you, it was a search and rescue. But some, it was even worse. For some, like Lazarus, it was a rescue and a recovery. Do you hear me? There's a slight difference. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> You watch the news and you appalled at the conditions of those that were in shacks in 63,000 people or more in a, in a camp and, and in lifeboats and not even lifeboats and dinghies and all kinds of stuff trying to get to freedom where somebody would let them in. Say, Christ Jesus has let me in. And I want to tell you something. They don't know crossing the Rio Grande, the Burbese River, the Nile, wherever they are between countries. I want you to help me to tell somebody. Your Redeemer has already ransomed you. He's already ransomed you. Tell them on the water that are lost. Even as Moses was rescued, today you shall come into the knowledge and the power of what a ransom is because we were guilty. That's the, that's the bottom line. Guilty, but purchased. Guilty, but ransomed. Guilty, but redeemed. Lord bless you. I'll be back. Fall on the earth. Let your love bring new birth. And the earth will be filled. Bless you, folks. We must deliver these messages and do it with authority, 
the knowledge of the truth. We must do it. Because the world does not understand that we really had nothing to say for ourselves. We were guilty, the Bible says, dead, even dead in trespasses and sins. For the little children that have been separated, for those that will never see their spouses again, without the knowledge of Christ and knowing I didn't have to die with guilt. I didn't have to commit suicide. I didn't have to shoot myself or my neighbor for that matter. No, I didn't have to lose my mind because I have a knowledge. Wait a minute. As bad as I think I am, somebody to whom all conditions are known, still stepped forward, presented that which was unblemished, no sin in it, so that it could cover all conditions, and then said, I will go down and bring it back. I, I know it's guilty, I know they're murderers, I know, I know what they do, but I'll take the hit. I, I will not redeem them with silver, but I will purchase them. I will redeem them. Everyone who has held anything, I will take it off the books. And I have done it. And so, a perfect God is still at work doing perfect things in you and in the earth, getting perfect results time after time. Lord bless you today in Jesus' name. I'll be back with the power of a purchase, the weight of a ransom. See you next time, amen. Your support is needed and uh, we praise the Lord for those of you who have been blessing us, knowing that the blessings are going to remain in your house. It will come back to you. Donate any amount and you're already blessed. Folks, I must tell you that the website moves along with the episodes, moves along with our weekly preaching, our Bible studies, and all the insights and all the great things that the Lord wants to share with you see to it that you visit the website send us a prayer request and uh, praise God for all that you are doing and we covet your prayers amen God bless you see you next time you can reach Apostle Dr. Eureka Stewart via email at breakthrough at BethesdaMiracle.com, on our website at BethanyCovenantAlive.net, use the contact us, on Facebook at Apostle.Dr.Stewart. Voice Over the Nations TV ministry is on the MFTN network. That's Missions for the Nations every day at 4.30 p.m. It's on YouTube every Sunday at 5 p.m. Search under Voice Over the Nations. It's also on Facebook on the Fire of Jesus Christ Ministries. New episodes are released every Wednesday. Thereafter, it's available on the Bethany Covenant Alive net website. Donate. If you are in agreement with what the Apostle is doing, sow into her ministry and become a partner. Use the donate link on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Prayer requests are available on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Put the Apostle to work for you. Share your prayer request. She will pray for you and into your situations. Service. See the Apostle live in action, preaching the now word of God every Sabbath. That's Saturday from noon till 3 p.m. Use the contact us to find out how you can join us virtually on Zoom. Donate. You are in agreement with helping the Apostle to take her ministry to the nations. Become a partner. Use the donate link on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Yeah.